stun incoming! Take it back! Watch still up. Watch your fire! Nice one! Got him! Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with another, and maybe the last, try something new in Modern Warfare 3. And the newest of the Jack kits is the Jack Voltstorm kit. And I can understand why they saved this to last, because this just might be the most powerful close-up weapon in the game. I didn't think so when I first unlocked it, and I didn't get very many kills with it, but I didn't understand how to use the thing. Since then, on my last stream, I think it was Zoidberg dropped two nukes using this weapon. So I decided to give it a try, and it is very, very powerful. Now, how do you get it? All you need is the Jack Volt Storm kit, and you have got the Gacamo machine. I'm telling you, you will serve chips with the Gacamole. The effective damage range is 7.6 meters. Maybe they thought that would be a drawback, but on small maps, it absolutely is not based on the two nukes that Zoids drop. So how do you get this thing? Well, it's the week four final challenge. And like I said, I understand why they saved this thing to the end, because if they hadn't, there would be so many complaints about it. They wouldn't have any other messages to read. Let's take the Jack Voltstorm, the kit for the Stormender, out onto the Field of Honor, see what it did to Grandpa, and see how it really upset Grandpa's enemies. Let's go. All right, let's get into this. The Storm Ender Jack Volt Storm Kit. And when I first got it, I couldn't do anything with it, really. But what you need to do is hold down the trigger while you're walking around, or right before you know you're going to shoot somebody if you have situational awareness on where they are. Look at there. Dual Reclaimer, Noxima face, blown away by the electricity. I mean, all you have to do is point it in the general direction. It's not, it's a not a precision aim with that thing so the kills are quite easy as long as you have the trigger down you release it and the guy there's the dual reclaimer guy again you can see how it just blows him away he doesn't even have a chance of course he did right there little noxema face got grandpa on that one but there's more to come in this game You can see that you can do a point defense all the way up to the point where you have been gacked yourself. <coughs> That's a double kill. So let us point it in the direction where two were standing. We were then seven and a half meters of each other, and Grandpa eats a Granado, but he gets the point. He defends the point. Great point defense weapon. Like I said, Zoidsberg dropped two nukes with this thing so he's got it down you can run around with it you can jump you can dive it's as long as you're holding down that trigger and charging the thing and once you release it they're dead this is this is quite a bloody engagement here but grandpa you know he likes to win there where is this guy there he is I'm gonna guard B perfect like i said point defense these guys don't even know what's coming i mean it is just astounding and even if they know what's coming a lot of them don't have a chance as long as you release that trigger i mean can you imagine the wailing and gnashing of teeth if this thing had been generally available in this configuration much earlier let's say two months earlier i mean they would have had to nerf this thing into the ground because you think 7.6 meters isn't enough well guess what it is oops looks like i got hoisted on my own guitar no somebody got grandpa i think with the sent no it was a grenade i've only run into three or four of these over the last few weeks since they've been available Week four was the last. I'm just going to throw out some bolts and happen to hit somebody. Right. Charge it up. 
And man, it is absolutely a sure shot. Like I said, you don't even really need to aim. I did get some headshots with it, which is kind of surprising to me. Yeah, the shoddies that everybody's using on these small maps, the shoddies do not have a prayer against this thing. Unless they get off the shot first. Uh, Grandpa's going to be barbecued Grandpa on that one. Nothing tastes worse than a barbecued Grandpa. Not that I've tried it. A little combination quad feed there. Like I said, point defense, it is deadly. Look <laughs> there. And I'll leave the grenade to protect B because it is a relatively close game. Somebody's got a confuser up. He's dead. The neat thing is when you saw, see somebody, you know they're dead. I mean, you know you've got them. Ooh, somebody behind Grandpa. He's already been gacked by our obligatory knifer. You just keep putting out the volts. The electrons. It's an electron murder machine. I mean, this felt unfair. I mean, those guys that are knifing that think it's easy to knife, and it is. So you're inexperienced. Most knifers are probably inexperienced players. This is even easier than knifing. I mean, I don't know why the knifers aren't using this. They get anywhere in the same zip code. The enemy's gack. Noxima face. There's dual reclaimers. There's more, I think, dual reclaimers there. <laughs> Lord. This is crazy. I mean, I felt guilty with the thing. There's dual reclaimers again. See if we can get that guy up. Somebody else got him. Once again, well, I think my third iteration of full streaks on this one. And then you can just shoot into the cloud. Just keep pulling that trigger. And there's the win. Grandpa, I would like to say I enjoyed it. I really did, but I felt like I was trolling. Let me know if you've tried the Volk. Volk. Storm. Volt Storm. Because that's exactly what it is. Now that guy turned the corner shooting. They got old Grandpa. The grandpa going to get him back. And you can see if there's anybody else in the area. Anybody. See how wide that electric shock is there? I think that's the killing zone for this thing. Like I said, you don't have to be Kit Carson with your aim to be able to gack these people. You just need to have the charge. And you do that once again by holding down the trigger. Let me know if you try this in the last day and a half or so. There was a double kill. That blew both of them off. And the satisfying thing is... You actually blow people into the sky with this thing. That's how hard it hits them. You saw that guy jump up a little bit. The wrestling pro there. Needs to put a shirt on. This poor old Uncle Sam. Get you saw him. He's within 10 meters. He's being served chips with his guacamole there. He's in blow away. That was so funny. People were kind of mad. I noticed that there was one guy that was in one of my lobbies that I blew away so many times that he was using this thing in the next game. And he did well with it. I mean, it's not like you have to be a savant to hold a trigger release like that. Always go after B. Defend the point with a volt storm because people have to get close to you. And then as you're going in, there it is. You can see the Muppets didn't get all the way to 250 because they were trying to get kills. So let me know what you think. This is one of my last videos of Modern Warfare 3. A like and subscribe, very much appreciated. Cheers and peace to you. And don't forget, we're going to have Gactoberfest on Thursday night for the stream. 
See you then.